Assembly, Fueling, and Starting. Start your DCT experience off right by following these simple steps. Loosen the side cover nuts and remove side cover. Place bar on to studs and chain adjustment pin. Pay attention to place bar properly on the bar stud shoulders. Turn chain tensioning screw counterclockwise until the bar comes into contact with the drive sprocket. Mount the chain on the bar starting at the drive sprocket and continue over the bar nose. Install the chain in the proper direction. The bumper must always lead the segment in the cut. Make sure all the drive links are inside the bar groove when pre-tensioning the chain. Turn the screw clockwise. Install the side cover over the bar studs and install the side cover nuts. At this point, finger tighten only. Pay attention to keep the guide bar on the stud shoulders. Then, while holding the nose of the bar up, use a screwdriver to turn the tensioning screw clockwise until the chain drive links hanging below the bar are just beginning to enter the bar groove. Continue to hold up on the bar and firmly tighten the side cover nuts. Remember, it's the side cover nuts that hold the bar in position. It is important to accurately measure the amount of oil to be mixed to ensure that correct mixture is obtained. When mixing small amounts of fuel, even small inaccuracies can drastically affect the ratio of the mixture. Fuel mixture is 25 to 1 or 4% gasoline oil mixture. Incorrect fuel mixture is the number one cause of piston seizure. Never use two-stroke oil formulated for water-cooled two-cycle engines such as outboard motor oil. Use high-quality unleaded gasoline with a minimum octane rating of 90. If lower octane gasoline is used, Used, engine temperature will increase which will result in a piston seizure and damage to the engine. Begin mixing fuel by adding half the amount of gasoline to be used. Then add the correct amount of two-stroke oil for 25 to 1 or 4 percent and finish fill the container with gasoline. Do not mix more than a month's fuel supply. This helps prevent separation of oil and fuel varnishing. Toggle the ignition switch to the on position. Pull the choke lever out. Lock the throttle in the start position by depressing the trigger and trigger interlock in succession. Press decompression valve. Open water valve one quarter turn. Place the saw on the ground making sure the chain is free of any obstacles. Place foot on the base of the rear handle. Place the left hand on front handle. With right hand, slowly pull the starter handle until the starter pawl is engaged. Pull the starter cord until the engine fires or pops. Should be about 1 to 7 pulls. Push in choke. Check decompression valve. Press if necessary. Pull the starter cord until engine starts. Should be 1 to 2 pulls. When the engine starts, allow engine to idle. Pull on the throttle trigger several times to help warm up the engine. Open the water valve completely. Use the same procedure as starting cold engine, but do not pull choke lever out. If choke is used, the carburetor will flood with gas. If engine does not start within three pulls with the throttle locked, unlock the throttle and pull starter three times. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about ICS. If you have further questions or require additional information, please visit our website at icsbestway.com.